Satellus is yet another city simulation game in a sea of city simulation games. Eh, kinda. Aside from having a name that sounds like it should help with erectile dysfunction, what else does Satellus bring to the table? While it wears the clothes of a city manager game, Satellus plays considerably more like a clicker game. It's an attempt to bring together two well-tread genres for something new and fresh. The problem is that the game feels half-finished in this regard, and actually in many regards. Your goal is to make sure you have the proper balance of residential, park, water, and business tiles. While this is a nice idea and executed fairly well in regards to the water and business tiles, it is almost non-existent when it comes to the park and residential tiles. With the residential tiles, you'll plop them down and never have to worry about them again. Now the park tiles have varying degrees of effectiveness and cost, but once placed they lack any interaction as well. Now the water tiles are interesting in that after you place them you have to watch them fill up with water and then lock them when close to full to keep them from overflowing and flooding your city. Now this is a nice mechanic but since the water will never go back down there's really no reason to ever revisit them. Now if they slowly drained and you had to revisit them to fill them back up from time to time that might make for more engaging experience but sadly once you've locked them there's no real reason to ever select them again. That leaves us with the business tiles. They are by far the most engaging and fleshed out tiles in the game. You can upgrade their capacity, purchase upgrades that allow for automatic revenue collection, and even have a crime rate that you'll need to keep an eye on. If only all the other tiles in the game featured the same level of complexity, the game could actually be considered somewhat more engaging and deep. If they did offer that level of complexity for all the tiles, we would run into another difficulty with the game's design. The actual difficulty. Every in-game day you're tasked with making a payment on a $10 million loan, with the payments getting bigger and bigger each day. If you fail to have enough to make the payment, you're not only penalized, but you'll be given a game over. Now the game does offer an autosave feature which allows you to go back to the start of the day, but this honestly doesn't help very much considering that each in-game day is maybe a minute of real world time. Neglecting your city for just a few careless moments can cause such a terrible death spiral that there's no way to right the ship in an in-game week, let alone an in-game day. All of the big issues of the game aside, there are a series of small niggling issues as well. Opening the menu doesn't actually pause the game, you'll actually have to select the options menu from there. There's no way to remove tiles in the event that you want to replace one. The sound effects are grating on the ears and the overall package just feels very unpolished. I don't mean to make it sound like I hated Citalis. I feel like with another few months of development, the game could have really been something special. The developer made a functioning game and I'm certainly no stranger to how difficult that can be. And for all that, he certainly wins some points. In a few months though, I'll forget having ever played Satalis. It's so forgettable that I'm pretty sure I'll forget having written or recorded a review for it at all. It will pass into obscurity and I imagine the case will be the same for anybody else who plays it as well. There are better games out there for the $2 price tag that Satalis will cost you. To the developer Mr. Matt Hooper, I have to tip my hat though. You've finished making a game that is available for purchase on Steam and is not an unsightly mess like a lot of Steam Greenlight titles or Early Access titles are. That earns you respect on its own, but I'm afraid I can't really recommend the game to consumers. It's just too... meh. <laughs>